Hello there, I'm Julie Davis for Blick Art Materials. This workshop today is entitled Bas Relief Paintings. Now bas relief sculpture is a type of sculpture that is meant to transition between a two-dimensional surface and a three-dimensional surface. It's intended to be viewed from one side. If I were to show you some examples of bas relief sculpture, I would probably take you, first of all, to ancient Egypt to show you sandstone carvings. Perhaps we'd go to Mesopotamia to see alabaster sculptures. Then we'd probably travel to West Africa to see mahogany carvings and the Native American totems as well. There's many examples. But today I'm going to show you how to do a bas-relief sculpture on a very non-traditional surface. This looks a lot like wood, but it's actually linoleum block printing material. This is Blick Wondercut Linoleum. It's a true linoleum product, but it's much easier to carve than traditional materials. And as you can see, it has a quarter of an inch of thickness, which is going to give us a lot of depth to carve down into. It gives you a real expressive line quality without having any crumbles. As you can see, it has a nice warm sand colored surface to it, so you can see pencil lines very easily. It's available in 16 different sizes. But you can also purchase it on a roll and cut it down to any size you want. This is a 9 by 12 piece that I have right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just quickly show you how to put a sketch with just a pencil on the surface of this piece. If you wanted to, you could do your sketch separately and put it on with a piece of transfer paper. But the pencil lines show up really well. And it just so happens that I have a sketch that's already completed here. And I've started carving a few lines here. I'm using speedball linoleum cutters. The cutter itself is this little steel head right here. This is the handle. They're interchangeable, so all you need to do is twist the handle, remove the head, and you can change your cutter out that easily which is good because we want to use a wide variety of cutters for this project. Wide ones, narrow ones, uh, U-grooves, V-grooves. Before I begin, I would like to run through a couple safety features with you. First of all, I recommend that you use a bench hook. That's what this piece is here. You have a flat surface with a wooden block attached to the back. The wooden block fits against the edge of your table and keeps it very secure. This piece up here is meant to hold your linoleum in place. Using linoleum cutters can be safe if it's done properly. I recommend that you place your forearm against the linoleum like this and hold it down from the top. Then as you use your cutter, hold it like this and cut away from yourself. That way, if it would happen to slip, it will go off safely in this direction or against the wood block here. Now you can see I've started to carve a little bit away to my background here. My process is to determine which areas are going to be the high relief in my bas relief sculpture here and which areas are going to be the lower carved out areas. And then I start carving in the lower areas. I don't try and carve away all at once. As you can see, this is really difficult to do and I run the risk of carving things away that I don't want to take away. So instead, I carve down in layers, a little bit at a time. It takes more time to do it that way, but the results will be much better. This is a wider cutter that I'm using here. Let me show you real quickly one of the narrower cutters. This is a liner. The liner makes small little lines like you see here in her hair. This is real good to use in the high relief areas because you don't go very deep with a tool like this. Once you have the whole thing carved, then it's time to paint it. And I do have a piece here that's already been carved. You can see the variety of line work that's taking place in here. Now I really like the matte sand-like texture of this product. And I don't want to destroy that by putting a real glossy acrylic coating over the top of it. So I'd like to use a matte paint today. This is Blick Matte Acrylic Paint. It comes in 72 different colors. It comes in two ounce bottles. And as you can see, it's very, very fluid. 
I'm, I'm going to use it in a more fluid manner than it comes out of the jar by adding a little bit of water to it. I'm going to start in the lower areas and use a little bit of brown paint and we're just going to add that until it's almost a watercolor in consistency. So you can see I've applied a little bit of the brown in this area right here. This is the technique. We just allow it to stain the linoleum and sink down into those crevices that I've carved away. Then while the paint is still wet, I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to remove some of that from the surface. You can see the paint is stained down in the crevices and stained dark. But on the surface, we're going to come back in with a highlight color. I'm going to use this yellow to give a bit of a hair quality. And we're going to just lightly touch the raised areas. This gives us a real lovely water media look. It's a very, very absorbent surface. So what appears to be a very strong color right now is now soaking down into the Wonder Cut and will actually be much uh, smoother, much lighter when it's done. Okay, let's take one last look here at the final piece. You can see the techniques that I've just shown you with the dark areas down here in the carved out weeds and up around here. And you can also see where the paint has blended so well with itself as it absorbs into the surface. Now this, since this is acrylic, it is water resistant. And the Wonder Cut itself is water resistant as well. So it doesn't require a sealer. If you wanted a gloss coating to it, you could put a spray fixative over the top. But it's really not required. And it's ready to be framed like you see with our piece right here and displayed. Well, that's it for our bas relief paintings. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. If you'd like to see a complete materials list and step-by-step -step instructions, check out the PDF on our website. Teachers, you'll also find the National Standards for Visual Arts Education associated with this project. Thanks so much for joining us.